my friends and welcome back to the bench today we're going to do another tools and tips video uh, try to get a wide variety this is kind of brush centric paintbrush centric but uh, I tried to sprinkle in with a few other tools that I use quite often and um, there'll be plenty of these because I have just about every tool there is and uh, I like to share these with you every so often um, but first a giveaway video this will be um, this PIT nipper which I had in my uh, test cost me 36 bucks I still have the tag on it and uh, yeah we'll give this away this is a really good nipper it came in the top of the ones that I liked quite a bit and um, I only nipped uh, those two little things off and put it back in the package <laughs> so this is brand new and uh, one lucky person will win this baby this is a good tool to have you always got to have a good pair of nippers. This is a good pair of nippers. Um, just leave a comment below because I got to use the comment picker to pick a winner. And uh, like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. And because uh, if you're not a subscriber, um, it's a little trickier to let you guys know when there's a winner. And uh, plus, the next video is when I will announce the winner. So uh, yeah, I'll announce the winner on Monday. I'll pick a. Uh, I use the comment picker, pick somebody out, I'll notify them, and then in the next video, hopefully around Tuesday, um, I'll announce again on video who the winner is. We'll send this out. Then we got another giveaway after that. I got another airbrush. Actually, I got a whole bunch of airbrushes to give away. Tons of uh, giveaways coming up. And um, So don't worry if you don't win this one. There's more coming down the road. And uh, So yeah, um, go ahead, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll give away this nice pair of nippers. Let me put this out of the way. Also, just a quick, uh, nothing, uh, according to this <laughs> video, this doesn't mean anything, but I just picked up this uh, Link figure. Well, it's Amiibo. I guess you get some free items. Yeah, you get some free things in the game. Tears of the Kingdom, which came out yesterday. Uh, Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest video games I've ever played. And uh, my wife also, she's a true gamer here in the family. And uh, fantastic. And uh, this also... Haven't started yet, but by the looks of it, it is a masterpiece, according to most reviews. It's got the most 10s, I think, of any game so far, ever. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. They were selling fast, so I grabbed them. Let's put him out of the way. I'll show you a t-shirt I got, too, at the end of the video, which just came in, just within five minutes of this video starting. All right, so let's go across. This won't be a long video. Um, I like paint thinners, and I buy every paint thinner by every brand. Yeah, my favorite thinner, which I use across the board, is Mr. Leveling Thinner. But for acrylics, and um, I have a trouble getting uh, stuff to work with, let's say, Vallejo. And uh, certain other brands seem to have their own. So I'm always on the search for a uh, thinner that works with Vallejo. That's the standard bearer. If one works with them, it should work with everything, you know. And uh, anything with alcohol... I make my own thinner. Matter of fact, I have a video on it, but uh, I don't recommend that even for this because the alcohol wreaks havoc with Vallejo, and um, so anything with an alcohol base, I don't recommend. So I got these on Amazon, and these are by Media Impresa, Impresa right there, and uh, it works. These are really good. It works with Vallejo. I sprayed uh, one of their oranges here over a primer, um, beginning of the day, and it is durable. And this was sprayed just with the flow improver. Now, I contacted the company and asked, should I use both? And they says uh, they recommend a couple of drops of this, a few more drops of that, depending on what paint you're using. You know, you just use it according to um, your manufacturer's recommendation. But starting with one drop of acrylic thinner to 10 drops of paint. So they give you their recommendation here. But however, they told me I can use just the flow improver as the thinner if I wanted. So it's one to two drops of flow improver to 10 drops of paint. It's the same ratio, and it's the same thickness. It's, it's not, you know, it's like water. So uh, I buy everything. So I bought the thinner and the flow improver. But knowing that, so you guys out there, I would go ahead, just grab this. It's uh, not on the cheap end. It was $14.99 with prime shipping. But uh, that's the same price as, uh, if not even cheaper than some of the uh, bottles you get and you're getting smaller bottles maybe in this size range for uh, a lot of these thinners so uh, again that's not bad it's got a nice cap to it a dripper bottle and uh, I mean there's no need to show it here it's, it's just thinning the paint but this was done using the flow improver 
with one of my Vallejos. I don't even know where the orange is. It's behind me somewhere. So um, there it is. I, I recommend, highly recommend. And this should last you quite a while. I'll put a link below for all these. And um, always good to find a new paint product. And that is one that I actually trust. All right. Okay, let's move on here. We have reverse tweezers. Now, we also have regular tweezers. Now, this is a really nice set of tweezers. I mean, I got two of them because the price was so right. <laughs> but uh, let me show you what these look like. Um, these are like, hold on, I got a price chart. Let me see, tweezers. $7.99 for all six or $5.99. There's a three-piece set. And they all have, they have the bent style. And check this out. A, a flat one. So you don't damage decals. If you go to use a decal. Do I have decals up here to show you? I do. You know when you do your decals and you take them out and put them on the piece? It's flat, so there's no tearing involved. It's, it's, uh, I have one by Tamiya, which cost ridiculous $20 or something. It was given to me, but look at this. It's a flat tweezer for uh, decals. So it even comes with that, which is a specialty tweezer in and of itself. When I tell you my Tamiya one, which is up here somewhere in my drawer, cost some ridiculous sum of money. <laughs> Believe me, it did. But uh, check this out. It has a, you have a bent you have uh, an angle, I mean. Very accurate. They are anti-static, so you can work with them on uh, computers if you're working on motherboards and that sort of thing. But yeah, $7.99 for all of these or $5.99 for a three-piece. Personally, I would make sure the flat is in the set. Yeah, I'll put a link for both, but I think the flat piece comes in the three-piece. But for $7.99, you get a bunch. I mean, I have an extra set. I give a lot of tools out to friends who need them, who who's just starting building, and uh, I like to help them out. I don't want to be without tools too long, so if something's in the low price end, I will grab a duplicate for friends and family. All right, now speaking of tweezers, let's go in with the reverse tweezers. Now, the reverse tweezers, this set cost me 6 bucks. I got three. A reverse tweezer means you don't have to hold your hand. It grips for you, and hence, I'm holding on to this Gumpla piece. See it? This is the straight-up one. Now, I can actually... Put it down without a vice and speaking of brushes I mean if I'm gluing something to it or if I'm brushing I, I don't need my hands here because it's a reverse tweezer it's holding it for me and I can hold here do what I want I don't have to worry about letting go if you're gripping it and um, losing the piece the piece is on there so these are reverse tweezers just like that and um, three styles straight Slight bend, looks like a 90 degree angle here. So uh, there, there you go. Reverse tweezers, uh, six bucks, can't be beaten. You'll use them practically every build. Um, great to have, um, not the highest end of quality, but for six bucks with the little wooden handles, eh, not bad at all. All right, there's that. All right, what we got here, let's move on. Uh, this is an instant accelerant I should just say an accelerant for instant glue this is for CA glues and how do you pronounce that let me get this word out All right guys we can say it let's get right up here cyanocrylate cyanocrylate I used to get, used to roll off the tongue because uh, I was saying it constantly trying to get it right and I had it right at one point cyanocrylate and uh, basically that's super glue it's super glue let me show you what I mean all right, here's Loctite's super glue. It even says super glue right on it. Uh, here's Hobby Mio's super glue. Uh, th there's tons here. I mean, I, I keep reaching. I like Zap products myself. Uh, Bob Smith, my local hobby shop, finally got in a full rack of every form of Bob Smith glue. So I'm going to grab one of each and do a test, and we'll go over them. I mean, some work with foam. Some work with uh, clear window parts so you don't get the hazing. There's one for everything. There's a slower one, so if you've got to move a part and let it, harden in place you need that little bit of time to get it right then you got the instant ones I and mean, sometimes even at instant it ain't instant enough and uh, if you see in my older video I did this we sprayed the when I built the racks right over here to my side here the typhoon racks I used the zap kicker the zip kicker it's from zap and you put it on and then you just spray this it stinks to hive heaven but it instantly instantly bonds and you can even use it as a, a sealant, uh, as a uh, filler. And you can actually sand gaps in your models with this stuff. But uh, 
the reason why I want, went and got this one is because, check this out, it's a spray bottle pump, but I can open it up and take one of my cheaper, I mean, I got a bunch of cheap brushes here. Here they are. Here's my cheapy dollar for 10 brush things. Dip it now when I'm gluing something and I'm gluing something close and I need to put the accelerant. I want it spraying all over the place. You put some glue here, dip her in, you're gonna, and it's going to instantly dry the glue. And um, really a must have if you're doing a lot of builds. This really will cut your time in half. But I love Zap Glue. I know this Bob Smith glue is great. My friend swears by it, but it's finally available to me locally. I could have gotten it all on the, online, but to grab it locally, literally five minutes up the road for me, and uh, it's a whole rack of every one they make. So I will be getting all the Bob Smith glues, but I, I'll put a link below for this accelerant. I think they sell a two-pack with this and their instant glue. So in the combination, um, let me see if it's listed here. I have a list of all the prices. Yeah. Uh, it's 10 bucks for this bottle, which is the same as the Zap, but it's 11.99 for the bottle and a bottle of, of uh, Bob Smith glue. So that, that's a bargain. So that, that's the way to go. But this is what you want. You want this one where you can remove the cap, dip your brush in, and just use little dabs. And then you uh, instantly, and I mean instantly, within you know one, two seconds, it will dry the glue. And you're on your way to moving on to the next part. And you can, if you're going to sand it, it's instantly ready to be sanded. So... Uh, there you go. That's for the speedsters in our life. If super glue isn't fast enough. All right. Here is another brush. We'll go with this. Now, this is a brush my dad, who was a painter, um, he liked this brand quite a bit. But I, I uh, recently discovered these to use as a duster. I know it's funny. They even I kept the package on this to show you guys. It's Worcester brand, Little Genius. But look, dusting and hobbies. So it even says dusting on it, so I can take this off finally. And, uh, yeah, it's it's great for dusting kits like this. And it gets right in. See it? All the joints. This is my Gypsy Avenger from uh, Pacific Rim. And it's, uh, it's big enough where I can do the biggest of kits, but it seems to be good that I can actually get into little crevices here. But watch, I'll show you. See that? And it's a really, really soft bristle. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I highly recommend this little brush. It's really wonderful. It's um, $7.50, I think, for this one. And you can get two and three packs. Uh, I actually have, I keep one upstairs where some of my kits are. And I keep it by them in case i got to dust it off. And I'll dust off my PlayStation and Xbox before I blow them out, too, with this thing, too. But, uh, yeah, this is a great little accessory to have. I lost a piece here to Gypsy, and it's back here. Here it is. The heck? So you got to glue these things together, even though they're snap fit. There we go. He's whole again. It's the first kit I ever uh, airbrushed in my modern time of uh, what I do now. And uh, this is, to me, a metallic blue. Isn't that great? What a great color. Let's get him out of the way. So, yeah, Worcester, little genius. I call it a duster brush. It's actually a paintbrush, but uh, I'll put a link below. I'll, I'll list it as the duster brush below. Put it in there, uh, Hawks over here. All right. Now we're going to stick with the brush theme. Why not? Um, here's a silicone brush. Now I have little ones. Let me show you those. See them? And these are for good for spreading out. Uh, I was spreading out my uh, little powders, uh, makeup powders that you spread into the paint, the black paint, when you get that buffing and chroming look. And you spread it with these, but then I started using it also for spreading out putty. Putty. Not putty as in Seinfeld. Putty. For uh, filling in seams. Now, check this thing out. Now, I went with this. This is the smallest of the big size. They go even bigger. But, uh, all right, we'll take this A10, 172nd tank killer. All right, we're going to get some. Use uh, Always use uh, gloves with this. <laughs> This stuff gets all over and it takes about a week to get it off your hands. Worse than paint, I think. All right, let's just get this on here. Right, I'm just going to go sloppy just so you guys can see it quick. All right. All right, check this out. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Some bits and pieces are falling down. Here we go. Can you see it? All right. Check this out. Let me get some light on here. There we go. Watch. 
and look how it forms. See it? Look at this. I mean, it fills in the little crevices, the grooves. It cleans right off of this because it's silicone. I'm done. I used to spread this out with the plastic or my little toothpicks. And then I started using those silicone brushes. I realized, boy, if there was a big one, then I saw this, looking them up to buy some more. And look at that. It spread right through. Now I can sand it quick, and I'm done. I just spread it all out. Isn't that great? I did a piece on the hair all right, as a test before beginning this. Look how nice and smooth. So there you go. A silicone brush, one inch. This is a master's touch. And uh, I'll put this link below. If not this, it's another brand, but I think I can get the link to this. I'll have the link below for all these. But, yeah, if you're going to use uh, putty, this is uh, one of the tools I recommend you highly keep on your bench. All right, let's get this out of the way. And I can let this dry. It'll bristle right off, hot water, right off. All right, let me get these other brushes out of here. All right, get these glues out of here. Gypsy just went flying. Let's get Gypsy Avenger out of here. Let's put him on my shelf. He's taking more damage than he did in the movie. All right. Uh, all right, so we have brushes. So let's go into my brush holders, then we'll go into brush cleaning. All right. Um, let's get these out of the way. This is the brush uh, holder I've been using. Now, I'm trying to clear up space because... I have either a cup, let me reach over for that for you guys. I either have a cup, see it? And those are for my uh, ones I really don't care about. Then, I had this brush holder. This is at the dollar store. I could put a link for this too. They have these on Amazon if you don't have a dollar store near you. And I put some of my uh, more special ones here. Here is my uh, GSI Creos. Love these silicone handled brushes. And I'm about to put out all of my Hobby Mio brushes with the covers. See it? But I like to see the brush, so I'm going to remove the cover. So this is when I went and got these. And I figured, you know what? I can clear up a lot of desk space because this takes up a lot. There's a big footprint right here. And I need more than one. So here's what I'm doing currently as I make ro more room on the Barber Toast bench. Here is one. And check this out. Here's my Tamiya brushes. Right, here's one of the artist brushes I got at uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And here's my Model Masters. No longer made, but they were good quality brushes. This is an Ammo by MIG brush that was sent to me. From them, I think. Really nice brush. Here's one of the Hobby Mios without the cover. All right, I could fit even more in here if I want. Here's another Model Master. But now I can keep them in different... Uh, cases like I, I could put fine when I'm ready when I get all these done I'm gonna have them labeled fine you know or for base coating and I, I, they'll all be more uh, equal in size for each case and um, this case was only let me see eleven ninety nine and believe it or not it came with these now I'm I'm not gonna use these giant ones but you know what I will use these there's a few of these I will use. You know, and they work with oil paints and everything else. I looked it up. There's a nice brush. This is a standard type brush. So, but my favorite one is the fan brush. Because you can use that. Hold on, guys. It's right over here. You can use the fan brush for uh, weathering. The great weathering brush. Particularly if you take out some of the bristles and you just put in streaks for, for rust. Great brush to have for... Uh, uh, weathering but it, that came with it too so I will keep that for sure in, in the flow of things so yeah that's that one and this is a bigger one back here this uh, everybody's gonna give me trouble here let's get rid of these glues as I reach across get rid of those glues there we go anything tipping over we're gonna get rid of same company you know I wanted to get a different size so that's what I did I went and uh, got this one because it's a different size this is more for artists you know watercoloring and that kind of art paints but I figured at 20 bucks I bet you I can use some of these brushes and when you know it here's another big weathering fan brush for me I call it a weathering but there's a lot more in here I would use you can see the sizes are much more uh, finer I love these angle brushes particularly when I test paint for you guys when I brush paint something as well as airbrushing it I love these angle brushes to get a nice wide spread of paint and we'll see how much uh, brush strokes are left behind so I will use a bunch of these but in 
in the end, I probably will put all those Hobby Mios in here, and I can also put my weathering pencils in here, too. See that? These are made by AK. I think these are made by, yep, AK. Yep. And this come in steel and, and silver, gold, all kinds of uh, weathering pencils. And I can put those in there, too. Now, what, what the good thing is, is as, as much as that holds, we're just going to fold it up. And look at this. I'm taking up no room. I might not even use these. I might cut these off. That's for travel. These won't be traveling. They'll be sitting on my bench. But look, I can have all of my brushes now in this little pot, little spot. I can actually just tuck it up here. Everything is out of the way. Now I'm getting more bench space to lay stuff out. And uh, for me, it's mostly for testing for you guys. And I have a lot of large kits coming up. And the large kits are going to take up a lot of room. And um, so the room is uh, of essence. But yeah, these are two great brush holders. I'll put links below for both. This one was 20 but then again, look what it came with. It came with all these. And I will use quite a few of these, believe it or not. Mother so than the smaller one. Um, yeah, so... Brush holders, instead of being a cup, like this, very good. Now, speaking of brushes, let's get Bob out of the way here. This is a brush shaper, brings your brushes back to shape, and this is a brush cleaner. Now, believe it or not, uh, after I clean my brushes, even with acetone, I still, when I put more acetone in it, like a week later, there's still some color coming out of it. Believe it or not, this will remove quite a bit of paint from your brushes and um, let me see if I can show you let me uh, all right, let me clear the bench here. let me uh, bring over some paint and a brush and I'll show you what I mean all right guys I got my uh, little uh, water wash here this is my uh, water basin for when I'm using acrylics for brush painting just need a little bit we'll put some uh, Vallejo what is this Mecca yeah Mecca color all right we'll put that aside all right here we go All right, now let me grab something to paint. Anything, any plastic here. So we're gonna paint a little bit. All right, now we're gonna clean off the brush in water. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys here, there you go. All right, now it's got little scrubbers here and this you can actually flush, watch this. I've shown this before. Flush her out like a little, <laughs> little toilet there for your desktop refills itself seeks its level and that's it now um, you think this is clean it's got clean water coming out it isn't it's still orange here that's it. so as much as you keep doing it rubbing it with a paper towel it never comes clean uh, fully you know you won't notice it because it's drying in the brush and that brings up another thing where you've really got to deep clean the brush so, you get the pink soap from Speedball. Let me grab a cup. And this stuff is thick. And this will clean out oils, oil paints, and everything. And I've even done it with my lacquers. Once I'm done with the acetone, I will actually run this through it, too. And uh, it's pretty basic. It'll tell you right here. I'll even hold it up for you guys. Cleans oils, acrylics, watercolors. Contains a conditioner that leaves no greasy feel, no chlorides, phosphate, solvent, or alcohol. Safe for use. And that's it. You just, uh, and it's thick. It's got a sweet smell like bubble gum, but look at the orange that just came out of it. That just came out of the brush that I thought was clean from the water. So, you know, a couple of dunks, and um, it will thoroughly take everything out of the brush. And I've done this with lacquers and everything. It really, really... Now we can go back in. Now I'm leaving clear water. I can see it already. And uh, there you go. And leave them standing up. Or put them, once they're dry, put them back in your case that I showed you. Now, uh, yeah, this really, really, uh, really does the trick. And um, for what it costs, I think it's, yeah, it's 10 bucks. And um, I've used this a bunch of times already. It hasn't even gone down yet. It's pretty thick. And you only want to put a little bit enough to cover your brush into the cup. But, uh, and then this actually will hold up your brush right there. Check that out. So, uh, that is one. That keeps your brush clean and conditioned. Now, here's the last of the brush tips. And this is also from Speedball. All right, this is a brush shaper. Now, I'll show you what I mean. A lot of mine are maintained quite well, but I found this one to show you guys. 
See all the bristles are out of place? Let me get some black piece of cardboard here. There we go. Check this out. Yeah, see it? See that? Now when you go to brush a fine area, all of a sudden you got little hair lines of paint where you don't want it. All right? And a lot of times, if the brush is too far gone, this won't fix it. But if it's like I just showed you, all you want to do is dip in here. You're going to take the excess off. You don't have to go nuts wringing it out like this, you know. But this just takes a few dips. It can stay put just like that, all right? The instructions are pretty basic. Here's how it came. It even shows the messy bristles and the clean bristles. This is it. Preserved lights your brush. It coat the brush with the shaper and set aside. Let it dry. But then rinse it one more time before you go to use it again. And I'll show you the shape again. Grabbing the black cardboard here for you guys. All right. Oh, I didn't shape it up good. You gotta, you gotta get it to sit. You gotta get it to sit. And then once it sits, you're gonna let it sit like that. Oops. Same camera. And then um, that will actually form the bristles back into where it should be. And uh, there's a few different brands of this. I'll try and put two brands to choose from if I can't find the link for this. I got this locally at an art store. That's where I got that. And um, mine was like five bucks. They seem higher online. I don't know why, but that's how it is. But I will put links for everything just so you guys can have a link um, to everything. All right, guys. That is the brushes. A lot of brush stuff. I don't know why. Last but not least, I got a new package of this to show you how it comes. I can't find my other package or sitting around here somewhere. I keep it in a Ziploc bag. What these are is, these are like poster hangers. You know when you put posters on the wall and you don't want to put tape and it, so it doesn't rip anything off? This, grab a piece. This is, I usually use my, I have a nipper here that is no good that I use for stuff like this. <laughs> An old nipper that is dying on me, so I use it for this stuff. This is, look how much I can stretch it out too. This is great. For this purpose, I will show you what this is for. Actually, here, let's go ahead and use the piece that I had in the reverse tweezers. Um, sometimes when a tweezer can't reach a part, it's a smooth part and there's nothing for my uh, clips to grab onto and I don't want to grip it this way because then the paint doesn't reach where it's got to reach. You want to go underneath. So I will take a, let's get that out of here, I will take this Loctite. This is a little too much, but I'll show you anyway. It sticks to everything, and yet it doesn't leave any residue. And you're going to take this. A lot of guys use this. A lot of the model builder guys use this stuff. And uh, there it is. So now you're getting all around. Yeah, all around, and nothing is going to touch um, where you want it to be painted. And then when you're done, it just pops right off. And you can reuse it quite a bit over and over again like that. So, and this is dirt cheap. Uh, let me look this up. I have everything written down here. Uh, $3.99. This will last you quite a bit. You could do a couple of master grades, everything, but just one of these at $3.99. And um, it will reuse itself quite a bit, too. It, it retains its stickiness. You want to keep it in a Ziploc bag like I do on my other ones. And once you get down to the smaller amount, look how much it keeps stretching. So, uh, and you got, you got to pull it quick. You got to snap it when you want to break it off. And that's it. Loctite. And there's other brands. There's uh, Fun Tac. It's called Tac from the other brand that I've seen. Um, this one I get easy enough at $3.99. I'll throw it in the bin every so often on Amazon and grab a pack just to keep it handy. But uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, guys, that is all. There's a few tips and tools uh, for you guys to go by. Now, don't forget, this is a giveaway. We will be giving away this nice pair of nippers, a $36, $40 value. And uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, leave a comment. You have to leave a comment for me to pick you to be a winner. Let me show you one more item before I bid farewell. Look what just came in. Hold on, let's pan out a little bit. There we go. Yes, look at this t-shirt. Huh? If I can get it to say Rex, it'd be awesome. Isn't that awesome? I got this at Gundam Pros. It showed up today. 
and um, I might buy two because if one fades away on me, I got to have another one. I got to keep one in stock. Isn't that awesome? Go to Gundam Pros. I'll put the link below for the T-shirt. Isn't that awesome? trying to show the whole thing there we go yeah barbato shirt <laughs> fantastic someday i'll have shirts made for me i i think i already have them i'm gonna have to order some in my uh my store there for merchandise with my logo my uh grandizer logo anyway guys i'll put links to everything you've seen and i'll put even though i didn't feature this let's flush it again i will put a link to the uh, flusher there's a new model it's a little slimmer it's rectangle i don't even think this is 10 bucks worth it to have it it's, it's like 10 bucks and um, it really does it all. And when you're done, the water runs out. You pop this lid off. It comes right off. See it? And then you flush out what's in the bottom. You can just dump it down the sink or the, you know, flush it. Uh, anyway, there you go, guys. There it is. More tips and tools. And uh, please, if you haven't considered it, sign up to my Patreon. It's at the very bottom. I put it at the top of the uh, list. Uh, it's only 4 bucks a month. We go back and forth. I, I answer you directly with text. We'll go back and forth. If you have any questions, if your question requires a video, I will make a personal video just for you and post that on Patreon. I also put some behind-the-scenes stuff where those guys get to see stuff before YouTube actually gets it. And uh, So please consider that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. You guys have been the best. Have a great rest of your weekend. We will see you early next week with another video. God bless. Have a great Mother's Day out there for all the mothers. And uh, I wish you all well. Have a great day.